All right. <clears throat> Today I'm going to share a book called Share Some Kindness, Bring Some Light. It's a beautiful book about kindness and how we can spread it around the world. Now, in, in the story, there's a little girl named Coco and there's a big bear. And you can tell that Coco's a little scared the first time she sees that big bear. <laughs> he doesn't look so scary there, though. Share Some Kindness, Bring Some Light by April Stott. Coco and Bear were friends from almost the first time they met. They were very different. Bear was big, Coco was small. Bear was shy, Coco was brave. But they were exactly alike in the most important way. I like that you're kind, said Coco. That's my favorite thing about you too, said Bear. I also like that you're such a good dancer, said Coco. I wish the animals knew all the good things that you know about me, sighed Bear. They don't, asked Coco. They say that I must be mean, cause I'm so big. And some of them are afraid of me. Noodle strudel, said Coco in disbelief. Yeah, said Bear sniffling. Coco gave Bear a big tight hug because that's what made her feel better whenever she was sad. After Bear got some of his sadness out, Coco said, my grandma always says, when life gets dark as winter's night, share some kindness, bring some light. If we can do that, maybe the other animals will see what a good kind bear you are. But how do you share kindness? Asked the bear. Coco thought for a moment. I think kindness must be something that you can give away, like a gift. We can bake cookies to share, suggested Bear. Yeah, agreed Coco. But how do you bring light, asked Bear. Let's make lanterns, said Coco. They're so cozy. I have supplies in my cave that we can use, offered Bear. Ooh, look at those cookies, they look yummy. Oh, and look, they're using the, the jars with some wire and some candles to make lanterns. That was a good idea. Bear had good supplies in his cave. That's a nice cave. When they were finished, they loaded up Bear's sled with all their gifts. Ready? asked Coco. Bear nodded, ready. But then he whispered, and a little scared. It's okay to be scared, said Coco, so long as you don't let the scariness stop you from sharing kindness and bringing light. Oh, look at that, got everything packed up on the sled. I'm gonna share some kindness and bring some light. Their first stop was Badger's house. Badger was not impressed. <gasps> I only eat cookies with worms in them. He said grumpily. Would you like a lantern instead? asked Bear. How am I supposed to sleep all day with that light in here? said Badger. No, thank you. That is not a very grateful Badger. <sighs> Next they tried Rabbit's house. Why would you bring me gifts? asked Rabbit. We want to show you how kind my friend Bear is, said Coco, hopefully. What if you're trying to trick me? A big bear wouldn't want to be friends with a small rabbit like me. No, thank you. They didn't have much luck with Hedgehog. Look, Hedgehog's running away. Or Skunk, either. Skunk's going to know. Poor bear. I'm ready for a break, sighed bear. Maybe we need to make some different gifts and try again tomorrow, said Coco. The walk home was cold and the only sound 
is the crunch of paws and boots through the snow. Until. Help! Did you hear that? asked Bear. It's coming from over there, said Coco, pointing. She leaped off the path and floop. <laughs> she fell into the snow so deep. Quick, climb on my back, said Bear. Help! Came the cry again. I'm going to investigate. I wonder who's crying for help. Oh. Why, it's Baby Bear, said Coco. What are you doing way out here, she asked. Went on an adventure, said Baby Bear, shivering. Oh, we love adventures, said Bear. I do too, said Baby Bear. But now I'm stuck. Don't be afraid, said Coco. We can help you. How? asked Baby Bear. You can ride on my back, too, said Bear. Baby Bear! Baby Deer! Baby Deer! Where are you? The animals cried as they searched. Here I am! shouted Baby Deer. I got stuck in the snow, but Coco and Bear found me. They gave me a ride home. Oh, thank you, said Mama Bear. She's so happy they found her baby. Oh, Bear looks really proud of himself. Wow, good thing Bear is so big, exclaimed Rabbit. And brave, said Hedgehog. And friendly, added Skunk. I guess he is a kind bear, grumbled Badger. Bear, did you hear that? They finally figured out that you're kind, exclaimed Coco. But I don't understand, said Bear. They didn't want our cookies or lanterns. Your lanterns came in handy after all. But helping baby deer showed how kind you really are, explained Mama Deer. But we just helped because it was the right thing to do, said Coco. Exactly, said Mama Deer. I guess kindness is about giving away love instead of gifts, said Bear. It's doing something nice without expecting to get anything in return. Coco looked up at the stars. I think I get it now. Get what? asked Bear. What, when life gets dark as winter's night, share some kindness, bring some light. Coco grinned and started tapping her feet. But Bear, there's one more thing that the others still don't know about you. <laughs> Bear can dance. Oh, what a nice story. I love this story. I hope you enjoyed it too. I really love that Bear and Coco were able to share some kindness and bring some light just because it was the right thing to do and spread it all around. So hopefully you can do the same. Hope you enjoyed the story. Have a super awesome, wonderful holiday season. Bye-bye.